Hi folks, we're back on the FM. Uh, we're back on the uh, the FM. We're, we're back on the. Uh, uh, we're back on the. You know, some, uh, it's getting hard to work out what it actually is now. <laughs> the Bush VHF Forty One belonging to Lawrence. <laughs> we're back on that, and uh, we've gone. Right, are you ready for this? I hope I don't confuse you with this. <laughs> we've gone. From the original chassis to the donor chassis, from the donor chassis to the original chassis, and we're back on the original chassis, believe it or not. We're back on the original. I've spent fucking, I haven't videoed it, but I've spent all fucking last night and all today fucking about and rewiring. And guess what? I think I might, I'm, I'm hoping I've got it sussed. I'm going to turn it on. Put my glasses on, let's... There we go, it's the very... I've got it on the Variac. Uh, because I feel safe. Let's turn the volume on. I want it full up. The volume control is a bit dodgy. I want it full up and I want to see if it works. Let's make sure the air's nicely clipped. There we go. Let me live, rudimental and major laser and Anne-Marie and Mr. Easy. Yes! Yes! I've fucking done it! Fucking hell, I thought I'd never gonna do it. Back to wherever you are at the moment, yeah. you're at work or you're in the gun. Uh, that there was just the volume control. The volume control's a bit dodgy, but I'll tell you what, we turn the FM full up now. Our lovely little station on the uh, BBC music introducing station. And that's the FM. The VHF is finally working. Now let's just check the AM. Make sure the AM still fucking works. Let's put the meter lead into there for an aerial. Yeah. Lawrence, I think you're going to be very pleased, mate. <laughs> I fucking got it fixed. Fucking hell, I didn't think it was going to be done. But, uh, yeah, I did send you an email uh, telling you that I found the fault. Or at least I, found, I thought I found the fault. And uh, I did it by primer, by process of elimination on the donor chassis, and uh, the fault was in around this area here. It was in around the. Uh, uh, let me just tell you what valve. The valve itself wasn't faulty. Now let's just go back to FM. We know the medium wave works. Go up to FM. Hi, um, BBC Gardeners World. I really wanted to go to that. Wow. Take that off with that big one. I've got to sort the volume control out, but. Um, I hope Monty John. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about um, somebody you ran. I had a wonderful yeah. chat. Well, this is it. Like, like normally I'm.
I get I get lousy FM in here. But with a decent aerial it'll work okay. I will check the alignment. But I'm happy with that. Now, let me explain, let's just turn it off so before I start putting my hand in places. I've got to tidy it up around here where I've put a new capacitor and stuff. I've got to tidy it all up. Basically, let me tell you something folks. When you buy your components from bright components, make sure the fuckers have got the right value stamped on the bloody things. And that's what threw me off. I put some of the capacitors weren't the right value, what it said on the bloody component. So I shan't be ordering from there again. Now let's go to the circuit and I'll tell you what the issue was. Now basically, basically it was one capacitor, oh sorry it was two capacitors and I'll tell you what capacitors they were. Let me go to the actual diagram of the actual underneath of the chassis. Now, I'll tell you what capacitors they were, they threw me, and they've had me thrown for, no, how long's it been here Lawrence, what, two or three weeks? That's how long they've had me thrown. But, when you buy new parts, you expect to have the right numbers on them, obviously they're not, so. But everything else appears to be okay, uh, everything else is working, I'll go over the whole thing before it goes back in its cabinet, but I'm not messing about desoldering this transformer and all this, I'm putting it all in. And one of the dial lamps has blown again, I don't know why. You know, 50 years, I've got fucking dial lamps in things that are 50 years old and they're still working. You put brand new ones in, they blow. Yeah. Right, well basically, I can't seem to see it on the fucking circuit. There's a capacitor down here. There's VR1. And it'll be, it would be, I would say it'd be C51, which is buried. Uh, sorry, yeah, C51, which is buried. Yeah, there's like an arrow pointing to it there, uh, which is buried under the volume control. So I'd say C51, uh, I had trouble with. And uh, where's valve 6? Uh, valve 5, sorry. And I think it was C52, yeah, C52 and C51 was what I had trouble with and basically, basically what was happening, uh, basically what it was doing, only on FM though because there's more because there seems to be a higher input on FM than what there is on VHF than what there is on that in the AM circuit. And what was happening is, I've got to tidy it all up. Uh, what was happening, circuit wise anyway, uh, what was happening was uh, C51 which is here, um, I replaced it with this. I took the old cunts one out and I replaced it with this and this is this is meant to be it's got 104k on there but this is supposed to be what 2J104K? This is supposed to be a a 0 0.1 microfarad. Uh, sorry, point point zero one. I think it is. It's got the number on here because this is the bag it came in. I, I think it's got the number on here. I'm sure this is the bag it came in. That I put all these old bits in. No, it might not be. I can't find it now. But that's what happened. That's what the problem was. It threw me off because it's supposed to be. Uh, let's see. 
let's see what C51 is actually supposed to be. I've put a, I, I've put a 20, I put a 10 pika farad in, and the 10 pika farad seems to be working fine. Now let's see what it, and when I replace that, or play, I replace that C51 uh, and C55, I think it is, or C52. Let's see. C51 is part of the is part of the negative feedback circuit. And it's supposed to be a point one. Well, the point one I put in were a fucking point one. Uh, anyway, uh, and then we've got oh, we've got C fifty two, which is AF coupling to valve six. Uh, that's AF coupling to valve six. That's supposed to be a point. That's supposed to be zero point zero one. Well, now that's got that sorted. Now we've got what I've put in there. I think I put a point zero zero one in it, and that seems to be working. Seems to be happy with that. Let's go back and see which is the. Uh, I want to just have a look at the negative. I want to have a look at the. I want to have a look at the bottom of the board, the bottom of the chassis again, because I want to. Right, uh, keep my fingers up there. That way, in there, keep my list up of where my list is. Right, so V2, you have a volume control, C29, uh, oh hang on, VR2, A VR2, that's the tone control. Uh, VR1, sorry, that's the volume control. And C51. And on valve, valve 6, uh, valve 5, C52. Let's see what they actually are supposed to be. So C52 is point 0.1. And C51. Uh, that's supposed to be 270. That's supposed to be two, 270 peak I've added. But... You know... Uh, uh, they, they, they read all sorts of funny, these fucking capacitors. Anyway, anyway what I've put in does the job. Uh, what's gone in there does the job and it's what the chassis is now working as you've heard. So basically I've got to do a bit of tidy, you know, I'll snip these legs to length and refit them and stuff like that. Uh, I've got to pull the volume, well I don't fancy pulling it, I'm going to try and spray the cunt again. But uh, these are what I put in. Uh, a 10NF at 650 volts. I put one of those in each. One, I put one of those, one up, one here, and one here, and that solved the problem. There we are, you see. Problem solved, and that's supposed to be a one microfarad, and it's not because it's fucking thrown me for over two weeks. I've been working on this damn thing, and it's fucking turns out to be capacitors that don't have the right fucking number on them. You know, it's that's what happens when you buy cheap Chinese parts. I'm going to start paying a bit more money and getting better parts, I think. You know, but you do it because that way you've got plenty of stuff in so you can do repairs. And they're generally reliable anyway, even though they're cheap. Anyway, uh, it's good news for Lawrence. His radio will be ready to pick up when he comes. He'll be able to grace my palm with silver. And I'm glad I fixed it because... I've got money tied up in this, I had to buy the other chassis 
and you know uh, if I didn't get it repaired I wouldn't expect him to compensate me for that I don't do that if I don't do the job I don't take any money uh, you know it's the way I look at it I don't charge if I don't do the job because I think that's I think that's unfair that somebody pays for something if the job hasn't been, if it hasn't been repaired so I'm glad I've got it done and I intended on getting it done because there's no way I could write this off folks there, there really isn't there's no way I could write this off I've got uh, I mean I've got I've got 20 quid tied up uh, in fact I think it's more than 20 quid because, because of the postage was it oh no it was was free postage I've got 20 quid tied up in that chassis so you know I couldn't I couldn't that's so that you know not doing not repairing this thing was never an option it was never not an option it had to be repaired and it's been done I've spent I've worked like hell on it and I've got it done uh, I've got to just check the alignment and stuff to go through it and uh, as I say, I've got to do some tidying up, but anyway, I've got other things to do now, so I'm going to turn the soldering iron off, turn the meter off, it's off, Every, I'm leaving this as it is now, because I've got my girlfriend, well, meant to be, uh, my girlfriend's uh, promised that she's coming tonight, so I want to get showered and shaved and sorted, so I'm leaving this as it is, and it's working, and it'll still be in the same state, when I when I, I'm gonna put this speaker in it because it seems to be suited, because the speaker in that one's foot, and the speaker in the donor was foot, so I'm gonna that that speaker that's there I'm gonna put that in it. It seems to work quite happily with that. Uh, I will check the impedance first, and I will try. I will, what, what I'll do? I'll look for. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll try and find one as close to the original impedance as I can, and. Uh, you know, but uh, and I'll go over everything. Anyway, folks, I'm really happy. It's been a good, it's been a good, it's been a good afternoon. The afternoon and last night hasn't been wasted. Now I can. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit longer than planned. Uh, because he's going to see a mate of his while he's away. While he's in Holland, he's going to see a mate of his. So uh, he's going to be. He did inform me. He's going to be a bit longer than planned. So I can have another. I can just very quickly while he's away, before he gets back, is revisit his little bush. Uh, he brought a little pie for me to do as well, and uh, that works on AM but doesn't work on FM. But the the problem with it is the FM oscillator doesn't run either. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into that as well because I like to get the stuff going. He did tell me keep that for spares, but I like to get the stuff going. I mean. You know, fucking uh, probably be a transistor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that another go because I'll repair that for now for him, because it's a simple job and it's not a high value item, mind you. Is this an high value item? I don't know. It depends on what value you care to place on an item as to whether it's high value or not. But uh, anyway, that's all done now. I'm happy with it, Lawrence. I hope you're happy with it, fella. Oh, I hope you'll be happy with it. Um, I know you like good news, and so do I, and it's done. Anyway, you all take care, folks. The next time you'll see this is when it's back in his cabinet, and I'm actually testing it. It's I'm running. It'll be all screwed together, and I'm and I'm actually using it, running it on the bench. And uh, you all take care, folks, and remember more to come later. Bye for now.